Let's talk about Battletech, the game for the PC. Now I've been humming and harring about this game for some time now. I didn't know whether it would be any good. I had this over, well, thing of Mech Commander going on in my head, which I didn't like. Um, I did like Mech Warrior. I liked Mech Warrior 2, 3 and 4 and all the mechs versions in between. And um, I modded 4 quite heavily. I was quite active in that scene, making maps, scripts, AIs. I ran MechStorm for quite a while. Built it up from nothing and respawned before that. So I was very into my mechs. And this was kind of like a... Nah. So I've left it until recently and I picked it up in the Steam sales recently. And it kicks ass. It really is a good game. It's, it's got just the right combination of action, strategy and background um, campaign build up. But without any apparent ending to the campaign. It looks to me like you can just keep playing and 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 playing as long as you like. It's just because it randomly generates missions throughout the entire universe and you just go to a place, do some missions and then there's more waiting somewhere else. So you can just build up your mech outfit or mech outfit as much as you like. It includes research, RPG elements, everything you could possibly like well, want in a mech game. And it isn't just here's a load of mechs, go out, bang bang, come back, refit them, go out, come bang, bang bang, come back. There's character building. There's um you know upgrading your ship, buying new mechs, swapping parts out, fiddling with all the bits you like to fiddle with as a mech fan. And to be honest, right, I was surprised. I wasn't really expecting all of that. But my understanding is the people who made it are the same people who invented Battletech in the first place. But you can tell me if I'm wrong on that. Because I haven't really looked into it that deeply. I also have noticed the uh, new MechWarrior Max game that's about to come out seems to be using some of the same footage as I've seen in this game. And this game was released in 2018. The other thing I quite like about this game is you've got a lot of DLCs that seem to add more to it. Now I'm assuming that they add to the campaign, either the story campaign or otherwise. Or maybe add their own stories, I don't know. It says, but um, if they just add more missions and more mechs to the campaign, that alone makes it worthwhile. Because the campaign is one of the best aspects of this game. And as a consequence, you know, expanding it, making it a more richer environment, it's got to be a good thing. It's like a lot of games these days, when they make a simulation of anything, they tend to make their money off the DLCs, and these DLCs go for about £15 each, but in a sale they're about half price, so that's probably a good time to buy them. But um, I picked uh, Mechware up for £11, not Mechware, Battletech up for £11 in the last Steam sale, the autumn one. So yeah, I complaining. I've already got more than my money's worth out of it. I think I'm on about 26 hours now. I'm still counting. I'm reaching to get this video done so I can go back to it. <laughs> so it just goes to show it's a really good engrossing game. But the, um, the thing to remember is, I always have this sort of um, system where you, a game's value is £1 per hour of gameplay you get out of it. So if you get 20 hours out of a game and you paid £30 for it, then you've been ripped off. Because basically you're like one third short. You've only got 20 hours, you should have got 30 hours out of it. That's a personal test I apply. But it applies to everybody. I mean, if you, you could look at the same game I look at, and I might get 100 hours out of it, you might get 20. That test is equally valid to you as it is to me. Because for me, I might say this game is well worth it, I got 100 hours out of it and I only paid 20 quid. You might say, or 30 quid, you might say I only got 20 out of it and I paid 30 quid, so it's a bad game. You see? So the £1 an hour test is a good test. Because at £1, you can do it, you can do it at $1, $2 an hour, whatever the exchange rate is, you know, something you think is fair for a game and apply it to everything. <laughs> Um, although there is an upper limit to the games I'd buy. I think the games are hitting, well, over 50 quid now, and to be honest, I'm very, 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 very reluctant to pay that for a computer game. So, you know, 
I tend to just avoid them kind of games. To be honest, they're not. They're usually treble A games, and they're usually nowhere near worth the money they pay. They're just made to look really slick, but lacking lots of features. Which is why I like this BattleTech game because this BattleTech is clearly a fanboy game. It is made from fans of big stomping robots, and you can't go wrong with it. It's generally just exactly what people wanted. I've noticed a few of my um, old friends from the MechWarrior days are back up on my uh, friends list Perrin has played this game recently so I uh, maybe I should reach out to them and get in touch and if Stingray is about an old mate of mine he's got it on his uh, wish list definitely worth getting mate so anyway um, I'm going to show you some footage just for the sake of it because I think it's a good game when I actually um, reviewed this on Steam I didn't give it a review I just told people what I did I said oh yeah you know like talking about walking around with big stomping mech shooting things doing death from above and now I hate these uh, I can't remember what they call it fire starter mechs they overheat me and oh it's really good when you get um, you know an alpha strike off of somebody's CT and you call them and stuff because I knew just talking about it would make anybody that understood the game excited to play it so I didn't need to say this is a good game because I could just describe the gameplay. But right now I'm going to show you the gameplay. I've recorded as much elements as I could to give you a good basis of what the, what's actually involved. So you just have a look at this. Ready for orders. Standing by. Reporting. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Catch you later, Commander.
Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Interface initiated. Affirmative. Yeah. 
Internal structure damage. Orders. Confirmed. Commander. Confirm. Affirmative. Ready for orders. damage. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh-huh. This is good! Level. 
Heading out. Roger that. I uh, copy.
mission successful. that's done. 